Hi, Easter's Church family, Jordan here. Glad to be sharing another word of encouragement with you this week. And this word of encouragement comes from Psalm 91. And I was reading this psalm a few days ago, and the first two verses just really captured my imagination. So I'd love to read them for you and then just share a bit of a reflection. So here we are. Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So I just love this imagery that the psalmist is using when he's talking about God. That God is a place, a safe house, a shelter, a place that we can live, be secure in. Um, but not just live, but also abide, spend time and soak up this idea that we're so close to God's presence that he's actually casting a shadow of, over us. And the shadow is providing uh, security and relief. Um, it made me actually think of, you know, hot summer days and laying underneath the shadow of a giant tree and all the relief that that brings from the blistering sun. Uh, but then the, the psalmist goes on and talks about how God is a refuge and a fortress. And I'm thinking about castles and strongholds and sieges that are happening. But in the midst of all that, God is the fortress and there is no fear. And how the psalmist is just praising God because of that. Um, and as a result, I was praising God too because these are his qualities uh, and this is who he is. Uh, but then there was a part of me that started to kind of personally wrestle with it a little bit um, because I know that I know my own heart and I know my mind and I know that um, that I don't always see God as this refuge and this strength, especially if I'm if I'm being honest about what is going on in my own heart. Um, but uh, I'm wrestling with it and and I'm thinking, well, this this doesn't have anything to do with God. Of course, God's qualities do not change, but it has everything to do with myself. And it has everything to do with this last word in verse two, trust. So I was, as I was wrestling with this a little bit, um, this question came into my mind and I believe God was asking me this and he said, do you trust me? Do you trust me? And I started to ask that question. I'm thinking, yes, God, yes, I trust you. And, and then he asked, he asked me, why, why do you trust me? Well, if you read the rest of Psalm 91, you'll see why this psalmist um, has has his trust in God. And then I started to kind of reflect in the same way that the, the person that wrote this psalm was doing. And I started to reflect on the times that God had shown up in my life and the ways that he had made himself known, that he had provided, that he had answered prayer, um, that he had helped me to overcome an obstacle or been with me during something that was extremely painful. And, and I started to just really... Um, settle in that and my trust growing um, within that as I as I thought through those times. Um, and so that's what I would encourage you to do this week is read through Psalm 91 at some point this week and then answer that, those two questions. Do you trust God and why do you trust God? Allow the memories of your time spent as a believer to encourage you and increase your trust 